Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be talking about a secret ending for one of the more important characters in Red Dead Redemption 2 that you might not have known about. That character today is Anthony Foreman. So you might know Anthony Foreman from a few missions in game. We first see him in the mission Polite Society Valentine style, where he's actually sort of threatening Tilly Jackson. And then we see him in another mission in chapter four called No, No, and Thrice No. And this is the main mission in which he's featured in. Now, to give you some background on Anthony Foreman, he's the leader of the Foreman Brothers gang. And he wants to get revenge on Tilly Jackson for killing his cousin in the past and eventually abandoning the gang. And that's actually the reason why Tilly joins the Vanderlyn gang is because she wanted to get away from Anthony Foreman. So we know he is not a nice guy, his gang is not a nice uh, group of people either, and in this mission, uh, Anthony and his gang track down Tilly and they actually kidnap her. And they're holding her at a place called Radley's house. So now that you have a little bit of background on this story, Arthur and Miss Grimshaw, they essentially arrive at the place to rescue Tilly, and when they arrive for the first time, they're obviously met with a guard, and they have to deal with it. And in need of some help. So oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. You don't mean nothing by well, I it. I said. You said your last words. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. So once Miss Grimshaw savagely takes out the guard, you have to go inside and you have to take out all the other members. And you'll find Tilly, who's actually tied up uh, in one of the rooms, and you have to rescue her. Okay, Miss Tilly. Now, let's get you out of here. I thought there was. I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, Miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot him! Oh, don't worry, I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. So once that happens, Anthony and two of his other gang members actually end up fleeing from the area. Now, this uh, is pretty straightforward. You basically just have to track him down, kill his first two followers, and then you have to lasso him uh, in order to bring him back to Tilly. And this actually gives us a lot of dialogue on why he ended up capturing her and taking her away from the gang. So I'll actually let you guys take a listen to this right now. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an E? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. You just shut your mouth now, Anthony. I've heard enough. Son of a bitch. So once that happens, you need to bring him back to Tilly and Miss Grimshaw, who are on the front porch of the house, and you drop him in front of them, where you're then presented with a decision to make. So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, 
You want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the bastard off. You know my choice. All right, you. <laughs> Let's get you home. Now get out of here. So, in order for this secret outcome to have occurred, you have needed to spare Anthony Foreman. You didn't need to kill him. Now, I'll show you guys what happens at the end of this video if you decide to kill Anthony Foreman. But in order for this secret ending to happen, you must keep him alive. Then we need to flash forward to the epilogue. And in the epilogue, you're going to need to head to San Denis. And in San Denis, if you go to the police station, you'll actually find a wanted poster for Anthony Foreman. And this is what it says. Proclamation from the desk of the San Denis police station, $85 reward for the detention and delivery of Anthony Foreman. He is the former leader of the Foreman Brothers gang and is of dark complexion. Foreman was under sentence for robbery, pandering, and blackmail and made his escape. He is known for violent behavior and has been spotted in many of the establishments throughout the San Denis slums, including the tavern. So that's the bounty poster for Anthony Foreman. And uh, once you pick up the bounty, you'll have this conversation with the policeman. He might have a bounty on his head, but you'd hardly know it. Cares on about his business in the less salubrious parts of town, knowing the law won't dare to come looking. <laughs> Is it that you can't go into the slums to get foreman, or you won't? That's a mighty forward line of inquiry. The slum dwellers can't be helped, sir, so we're not going to try. Now, from there, the game tells you exactly where to go. You need to go to one of the taverns on the other side of the town, sort of in the poor district of San Denis. And when you go inside, you question the bartender, who uh, will immediately tell you that he doesn't know anything about Anthony Foreman, However, then Anthony Foreman scurries out the door, and then it is your job to essentially pick him up and take him in. And uh, you just hog tie him and put him on the back of your horse. I actually looted him as well. I got a couple of dollars and a pocket watch, but that was it. And when you take Anthony Foreman back to jail, he'll actually have some unique lines of dialogue where he mentions some older characters, like Arthur and Miss Grimshaw. Take a listen to this. Hey. I think you knew a friend of mine, Tilly Jackson. Tilly Jackson? I ain't heard that name in a time. Hey, you're not the... No, he was bigger. Look, if you're with that other friend of hers, I promise to stay away. Don't bring me in because of Tilly Jackson. Things is long settled between us. But I ain't bringing you in for Tilly Jackson. I'm bringing you in because they're paying me. If my cousin was still here, you wouldn't have got me. I wouldn't have had to hide out in no slum, avoiding no bounty. When he got killed and we lost them other boys at Radley's house, that's when things went sour. The foremans ain't been quite so much since then. Now, once you're done listening to that conversation, all you have to do is take him to the San Denis police station. So take him off the back of your horse, bring him inside. He'll have some more lines of dialogue for you, but they aren't all that important. The officers on the inside will say that you've done a good job and that he ain't society's problem no more. Or that's exactly what John says. And then you end up putting him in a jail cell. 
and you collect your reward. So we're actually not quite done there yet because we can actually have two more additional conversations with Anthony Foreman if we actually come back at a few days later. Believe it or not, he'll still be in the jail cell. They'll actually have untied him and given back his hat, which I think is kind of funny. So if you come back the first time, he will have this conversation with you. You had a gang way back then, didn't you? Oh yeah, I had a gang. Foreman brothers. Only we was cousins. Boy, those were some times riding and robbing. Why are you interested? Oh, no reason. Just knew the name, I guess. Ain't no point in you causing trouble here. Now go. Pretty interesting, right? He talks about his old gang and what they were doing. Well, the next conversation is even more interesting. So if you come back a couple of days later, once again, he will have this conversation with you. You was paid a visit, wasn't you? By a man and a woman when you took Tilly against her will? That woman was a bad tree. And the man had something in his eyes. But they let me live. And I kept my promise to them. Yeah, well, they was friends of mine. Ain't with us no more. I'm Not many folks still is. Off with yourself. Wow, so that was pretty cool, right? Anthony Foreman describes Miss Grimshaw as a banshee and Arthur as he had something in his eyes. So that's pretty cool. That's another character that actually remembers Arthur Morgan and what happened to him uh, in the past, which would have been seven or eight years ago. And just for good measure, and if you guys are curious, if you don't have that secret encounter at the end of the game, it's because you probably killed Anthony Foreman or made the decision to not let him live. And this is what that looks like. Finish the bastard off. Sadly, I agree with you. <laughs> Sorry, partner. We can't take no chances with the likes of you. Yeah. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. I thought that was a pretty cool secret ending to the saga of Anthony Foreman in Red Dead Redemption 2 that you might not have known about. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.